Welcome back to another tutorial on the Adobe Illustrator course for beginners. Now, in our last tutorial, we looked at the Pathfinder and the cool things that it will do. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to look at a similar tool that will do the similar thing to a Pathfinder, and that's the Shape Builder tool. Now, with the Shape Builder tool, it's really fast, it's really efficient compared to the Pathfinder. Now, let's do this practically. I'm going to select this shape to a rectangle, draw another one. Now I want to try it with three shapes, okay? So click over here, right this tool, let's create, try and create a perfect circle, there you go. Now if you want to create a perfect circle, what you do is as you're drawing out, hold on the shift key and it will make sure that your circle is perfect. So I'm actually going to use this. You just change the fill color. Perfect. Let's just delete this wing. I'm going to use this one instead. So I want to combine these three different shapes. So there we go. Now I want to create to combine them and come up with different shapes from this. So I'll just select them, click on the shape builder tool. Now, if I hover it over any section, you can see it changes and it kind of looks like meshed in a way. And then the cursor has a class icon to it. Now, this means if I click on the segments like this, I have combined those sections. So that's what the plus icon means. So control Z to undo that. Now, if you want to delete any part of the selection, so let's say we've added this and now I want to delete that part. What I can do is hold on the Alt key, and then the icon will change, and now it's a minus. So if I drag this along, it will be deleted. So Control Z, let's do all that. So I want to create a new shape from this. What I can do is hold on the Alt key, drag this out, delete that part. Hold the Alt key, drag this out, delete that part. And you can see I'm left with this really cool shape over here. So that's how the shape builder tool works. Let's try this again. Um, perfect circle, make it big, different fill color. Let's make it pink. Cancel. So we have this one over here. Let's just move you over there. So you want to do, you combine this with another shape. So I'll select this one. So let's create little stars. Now you can create one star and duplicate them or you can go ahead and continue creating. But I love duplicating because I'll get the exact same size. I'm just going to delete this. Hold on to this, then hold on Alt and just click and drag. Hold on Alt, click and drag. And you can see I'm creating. Now, one thing I've forgotten to do is change the fill color. So come back over here. Let's change the fill color. that's better so now let's duplicate this so hold on alt duplicate and there we go so i'm just going to drag it in a bit like that alt one at the middle, let's make this one a little bit smaller. That's okay. So I'll select all of this. Click on the shape builder tool. Now I can select, I can choose which part of the shape I want to keep and which ones I want to remove. Now instead of using the pathfinder and having to unite, combine, exclude or intersect, you can actually do all that using this tool. So I want to remove this section, so I'll hold on the Alt key. The icon changes to a minus, so I just click and drag, and it's gone. And if I can actually, you can see it leaves my shape with this really cool starry effect in the middle. So select them all again. So I'll just remove these parts, hold on the Alt key, 
this is what you're left with. Control Z. Don't forget that once you're done, make sure to group them so that when you move them around, they don't like fall off, they don't come apart. So I've created this really cool shape, this really cool design. You can actually change the colors, change the design, use different shapes in here. But that's how fun and easy it is to use the shape builder as compared to the Pathfinder tool.